Hey, St. Mary's. Uh, this is Father Todd, and this is Darla Cedarberg. And we're here because we got the top three things. I noticed we're not six feet apart. We're we're not keeping our social good social distance. No, 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 we don't. But that's okay because we live together. You have been involved in a project at St. Mary's that's that's increasingly becoming an important thing for us, having to do with listening. Well, I'm here today to talk about the first thing, which is the listening post. The listening post is this wonderful idea whereby we can stay connected with each other. If you're having a little bit of difficulty, please call the listening post. It, it can be something not difficult. It can be that you just during Holy Week, you had an inspiring moment and you just want to share it with somebody because we need to be seen and we need to be listened to by one another. Um, I think of that verse in uh, Revelation where it says Jesus is knocking at the door of our hearts and if we open the door, he'll come in and have table fellowship with us. That, that kind of fellowship is so important and we all need it. So you can call Cindy Eaton or John Lockwood and they will connect you with uh, one of our Stephen ministers and or Stephen leaders who've been trained in listening, to, trained to be able to reflect back to you, just to look and see you and hear you. So we just think that's so important and it doesn't have to be a stressful thing. It can be, or it can be, you know, you just, again, you found something really interesting this week that you want to talk and share with someone else about. We would love you to call in to the listening post. So it's so important for us to be able to know that, that you can pick up the phone and just know that there's somebody on the other end uh, that's going to be able to listen to. And do you know what else? Yes. Yeah, so I think our second thing is this week is? Holy Week. Holy Week leading up to Easter. So you know that we have, uh, we have a number of services this week that are coming up. So there are regular services that we do every week, like there's a a healing service at 1210 on every Tuesday. And there's a, another service that's on every Wednesday at 930. But the Holy Week services uh, start on Thursday evening with Monday Thursday, and then a service at noon uh, for Good Friday. And then Father Christian has a special one that he's doing on Good Friday evening. And then the Easter Eve service with its, uh, with its uh, the, the celebration of of kindling the new light in the dark and the shadows that go along with it uh, on into uh, the the uh, Easter Sunday celebration and all that that means for us. So it's really a busy week, uh, but it's not, these are not just kind of religious services. The purpose behind these services is uh, what it means for us to, to uh, be touched and changed and molded and shaped by the love of Jesus. And so in order for us to do that, then that means we kind of walk through this drama together with Jesus. And, uh, and you know, every time uh, we do this, every year we go through this, um, Jesus shows me, you know, uh, something new about him and something new about myself that I didn't know before. So, so we'd really encourage you, come and join us uh, for the services for this week. Let it be a drama. Let it be a, an unfolding of, uh, of who Jesus is and who you are uh, in a new and entirely uh, kind of new and different way. And, um, and then the celebration of Easter, I guess, on Sunday morning, when, uh, when there's this, just, this, this, uh, this, um, this explosion of life and color that allows us to come together. So strange that we're doing all of this during a time uh, with the, of the coronavirus, and we, we can't leave our homes, and we can't be together, but, um, but the resurrection of Jesus you know, happens, uh, and happens in our hearts and in our lives, wherever we are. Um, so Jesus is there. And what else? Well, I you came home today from church with a very interesting looking apparatus. I, I think you should model it for apparatus. the people. Yeah, it's a uh, so it's it's you know I don't I don't think I was ever before like supposed to I shouldn't wear this walking into a bank or something like this before. But maybe now maybe now it's okay. So is that right? Is that right? Close. Is that good? <laughs> uh, the situation in which we si find ourselves is uh, is going to be challenging, and you know it's going to be challenging over the next couple of weeks. 
And so our health authorities have encouraged us to be able to wear masks if you go out uh, in public, or at least a number of people who would, would feel more comfortable wearing uh, some kind of a mask. And so we've had some women in our church who are seamstresses uh, who are happy to make some of these. And so we at St. Mary's are, are glad to hand them on. Now, we, we don't have very many um, yet. Uh, we should have about 50 towards the end of the week. Uh, oh. But if you'd like one, uh, then be sure to uh, to contact the church office, send them an email, and uh, let us know. We'd encourage probably no more than two per household. Uh, there are some for adults and there are some for kids. And, uh, and then we'll let you know what the best way is for us to be in touch and for you to pick them up. Um, so you stay safe. And uh, take care of the safe of the people who are in your household and the people you love. So, Darla, it's been great. We don't get to do this very often. No. Yep. Have a have a have a blessed Holy Week, everybody. And we're all together with you in it from afar, connected electronically, and in of course in prayer. Yeah. Uh, Jesus loves you. Jesus is there with you. Whether you uh, your house is going crazy because you got kids and you're trying to do homeschooling, uh, or if you're you know, all by yourself. Uh, Jesus is there with you and, uh, and revealing his love to you. So listen, let him uh, soothe your heart and let him touch you in a special way. So God bless you from Father Todd and Carla. Love.